what they just saw. These fighter stats are brought to you by Poker Stars, pound for pound. The greatest online poker experience in the world. Take on the best to win millions of prizes every day on Poker Stars. And there are your numbers. Fastest knockout in UFC history. It now belongs to Jorge Masvidal. And he did it against an undefeated fighter who had not lost in 20 pro fights. Yes, sir. You're going to try to face somebody that you know is going to come on your legs eventually, and you're probably going to end up on your back no matter what happens. You might as well try to start the fight like Masvidal did, and holy cow, did it pay off. And I'm just hoping that Ben Askren is okay. Nice to see Ben Askren get back to his feet. He came back out of retirement to try to pursue his dream to be the best in the world, and that goes by the boards here tonight for Ben Askren in a major, major way. Jorge Masvidal, can you imagine what type of celebration is going on in Miami right now? The official decision is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile and never miss a knockout with their reliable network and unlimited data to wrap this one up. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog has called a stop to this contest at five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Gangrad Masvidal. I'm here with the winner and the new owner of the fastest knockout in UFC history. At five seconds in, Jorge it really wasn't five seconds, it was about a second and a half or two seconds. The other second is the referee getting to Ben and rescuing him. You said it best, but um, I want to take this time on a personal. Thank God Almighty for this journey, man. It's been an amazing journey. 16 years I've been doing this at this level. I want to say hello to my daughter Ava, my son Macho Man, and Jay. I wasn't with them for 4th of July because I had to handle business. I love you. I'll be there soon to celebrate. And uh, America Top Team, Dan Lambert, Steve Mako, Mike Brown, Molo Wall, Paulino Hernandez, Jesus Gallo, Johnny Eblen, Sydney Outlaw, Nate Coy. These are people that helped me make this moment possible. I really wanted to beat his ass for 14 minutes and 30 seconds, but it didn't get to happen. Whatever. Now back to business. I don't want to say nothing about Ben, so don't ask me nothing, because I got nothing nice to say. So my mother told me, if you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say it. So we're going to skip Ben questions. Jorge, the opening move, was this something that you had planned? Did you feel it in the moment? Did you anticipate him shooting? Why the flying knee? Because he's a bum. But, you, but let's take a look at it here. Did you know that he was going to try to duck down? Because as you time that, I mean, that is as perfect a flying knee as has ever been executed on planet Earth. That, that dude was talking wild, man. You know, I had to show him that there's consequences sometimes. There's some bad motherfuckers out there you don't want to wake them up. You should have kept your mouth shut. I probably would have beat you up in the second round, you know, but uh, I'm so happy, though. I just want to thank God again for this journey. I'm coming for that belt. I don't know who's fighting next word or whatnot, but you guys know who deserves that belt. That's 16 years of hard work. You guys know who deserves that belt, man. I'm here to fight. I'm not the best at cutting promos or the IG shit, but I can fight, man. Congratulations, sir. You guys are welcome for ending that dude. Jorge Masvidal, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, can he fight. A fighter's fighter, a lifetime in the game. You got to feel good for Jorge Masvidal. Paul Feller, we're going to take another look at this hugely seminal moment, courtesy of the 4D. Here we go. Look at this. I mean, he sprints full force, flying jump knee right to the side of Ben Askren's hip. And the rest, as Joe said, wasn't even necessary. But the ref couldn't get there. Look at that. I mean, there's nothing to say. It, it was an idea that him and his team came up with. They executed it perfectly. And all the trash talk, you know, there was a lot going on between these two guys. Well, there's the one. There's the one loss. And there's that on TV. Yeah, Paul Shevchenko, the flyweight yep. champion. Her next title defense coming up Saturday, August 10th. And with his Budweiser in hand, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Forever a fan favorite with the lead up, Octagon side here tonight in Las Vegas for that.